Father, don't let just anybody see this video, but the one that you have chosen to see this video, see it. I don't know who needs to hear this, but I know that the Lord told me that he literally saw every tear that you have cried. He saw every moment of the real pain, the panic, and God sent me here to tell you this, that he knows very well how he's going to make it up to you in this season. You've been wondering how, you've been wondering when, but I heard God said, soon you will know that those tears that you've been crying to him were precious and they did not fall into the wrong soil. God says they were seeds that were sown on your behalf that will cause new life, new blessing, new direction, new connection, new relationship, and a new level of spiritual growth. God hasn't brought you this far to cause you to fail. I literally see in the realm of the spirit, I see God is turning things around for you. But I hear God saying this. This is very powerful, very unique. God says, I'm not finished blessing you. I'm not finished. I heard the Lord say, I need you in this season to lift up your eyes and to see the heaven is for you. I heard him say, you are my child. I've called you, I've appointed you, and I've anointed you. I need you not to question me in this season because something so miraculous, so powerful is about to happen for you in your life. It's going to happen. It's going to come. It's going to shift. Things are going to begin to turn in your favor regardless of your situation. I want to continue sharing this word with you, but let me just say this quick prayer, this prophetic prayer. I want to release this over your life right now. I just feel such a stir in my spirit to release this. But I want to also share it from the vision that I'm seeing right now concerning you and your life that's going to bless you. But I literally see Revelations chapter 1, verses 12 through 14, 15, right in there. I want you to read that because it gives an image of Jesus in his glorified state, but I want you to see what I'm seeing right now in my vision. So read that so you can get a good picture of the vision that the Lord is releasing to me, but I'm literally seeing him in that image in his glorified state. And I see him literally wrapping his arms around you right now. You're going to begin to feel the tangible presence of the Holy Spirit on your skin right now because he's wrapping his arms around you as you're hearing my voice right now. Just take a moment and just drop a comment down below. Let us know what it is that you're experiencing, okay? And I want you to share this with three people you know right now that need this word. Don't hold this to yourself. Don't keep it just to yourself. I know you know somebody right now that needs this, but you are seeing this not by accident. You are seeing this because it's a literal divine appointment. But I hear God saying, I need you to experience my love. I need you right now to experience my touch. I need you to take a time out and experience who I am for you. I need you to allow my peace to pass all your understanding in this moment. I hear the Lord saying this. Let peace and prosperity, come on, Jesus, saturate you and your home. Will you let me show you this? Will you let me allow you the encounter of this, says the Lord? I just right now, Father God, ask you that the person that's watching me on the other side of the screen, as the device they're watching me on being their point of contact, that they would literally, Lord, feel the blessing of your spirit over the device they're watching me on is their tangible encounter of you that the device 
would just touch and bless them right now, like you did with Paul and handkerchiefs right now. I release it right now through this screen into your life. But I hear the Lord said, regarding your desires, regarding your heart's desire, God says that I'm igniting it because I gave it to you. I need you to trust me, says the Lord, in the desire of the heart that I put in you. God says, I put it in you and I need you to trust it right now. I need you to believe me right now. I need you to know that I am on an assignment for you. I hear God saying the word assignment. Type assignment down in the comments right now. God is literally on an assignment and it's going to be more and more relevant for you than you've ever known or ever seen or ever understood it to be before. It's going to make more sense to you. And it's going to be more impactful for you in this season beyond anything that you ever realized or anything that you ever understood. Come on, Jesus. But I hear God just unleashing some amazing things. And I hear him to say in the days to come. In the days to come you'll see you'll see how i come through for you you'll see how things are going to connect for you and i heard the days to come so whether that's a few days a few months whatever it's days to come in these days to come you're going to experience it but i feel like there's going to be such a supernatural move over your life and the move over your life is going to be a jehovah rapha kind of move, a Jehovah Nisi kind of move. It's going to be a breakthrough in your health and in your wealth. It's going to be a breakthrough in your connections, in your spiritual growth, and in your place of finances. There's going to be such a connection. Whew. It's going to be such a connection for you in this season. God says, I need you to trust me right now. I need you to rely on me right now. I need you to stand with me right now. I need you to know it's getting better, not worse. It's getting better. I need you to believe right now. Say this with me. Holy Spirit, help me to see. Say it with me. Holy Spirit, help me to see. Type in the comments. God wants to help you to see that it is getting better. That it is getting better. That it is getting better. That it's not getting worse. Hang on. I need you to hang on right now. Jesus is working behind the scenes on your behalf. You need to know that. Type hang on in the comments. I need you to hang on. It may look like things are getting worse. I understand. It may feel like things are getting worse. I get it. Jesus can sympathize with you. But Jesus has already has a rescue plan in order for you. You need to understand this. There's a resurrection rescue plan over your life. In this situation, God's about to bring a resurrection miracle in your life. He's about to resurrect your health, resurrect your finances, resurrect your connections, resurrect your money. It's about to be resurrected. God says, hold on in this season. I need you to hold on. There's new life in me, says the Lord, and it's coming to you. You're going to see it tangibly. Because I'm already working on it behind the scenes, says the Lord. This word is such a right now word for you. It is so powerful. I hear God saying this. Don't believe the devil. It will go in your favor. Type favor in the comments if you believe. Listen one more time. God says, do not believe the lies of the devil, the lies of the enemy. But know that it will go in your favor. Favor favor type favor in the comments if you believe if you believe this i want you right now to go and receive your daily prophetic words down in the description because if you've made it this far you are serious and because you're serious god wants to meet you personally in a very intimate way connect with us by receiving your daily prophetic words make sure to subscribe to this channel make sure to share this video with at least three people and you need to remember this i love you